An animated logo of a dozen or so interwoven circles coalescing. Text appears. Oleb Books presents Firsts, the mini documentary series. Episode 3, Samuel E. Rubin. Sam is a 25-year-old and grew up in Oakland, California. He is a thriving artist, but it took Sam a lot of effort to become the talent he is today. Sam, a young man with short, wavy brown hair and greenish-gray, long-lashed eyes, is intently playing the piano. He wears a black collared shirt with blue and white stripes. Pictures of young childhood. I first was diagnosed with autism when I was four, and it's been it's it's been a roller coaster ride since then. I felt very isolated because I I kind of felt like I was floating between a wall, an invisible wall, and the rest of the world. Sam describes the rough treatment by the special education staff. Not only was I yelled at, but I was also you know grabbed and pulled aside many times violently. Even if I even if I didn't know I was doing something that that wasn't appropriate or or acceptable or or was considered misbehaving, I would just be hammered, you know, with, with so many punishments and I wouldn't even know why I was in trouble. But Sam never gave up. Shot of Sam's oh, book titled And Action. Than she. Be not her maid for she is envious. Her vestal livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off! Oh, it is, my lady. What helped me to overcome those challenges was going to acting school. Uh, I went to acting school um, uh, in San Francisco and Mill Valley called Kids on Camera, which really helped me to understand conversation a lot better. It is the East, and Juliet is the sun. Acting was only the beginning. Sam started to write about his journey with autism. Sam types on a laptop. I first found my passion in writing from, well, reading movie scripts. Later on in my, my teenage years that turned in, uh, that evolved into uh, reading books and, and being fascinated with literature and wanting to stretch many readers' imagination. Because in, in a lot of ways, writing a story is like painting a picture, you know, or, or composing a musical movement. You're essentially creating a world for that reader to imagine. And that really, uh, that's when my passion started to develop. In, uh, a lot more in writing because I realized that I'd like to stretch people's imaginations. Being a writer with autism has its challenges. I always, I always have this this fear inside of me, thinking, uh, "What if they don't like it? What if, <laughs> what if the audiences don't like it? What if, you know, what if the reader doesn't like it? I don't think I, I don't think I can deal with this. So that's why I go over to my friends, and they give me insight and feedback on what, what is appropriate, and what is not appropriate in what I've written, and, and then, and then they help me edit, my sentences from there to translate for the reader. As a writer, he has an important mission. I want everybody to know that we need to help uh, children with disabilities in a completely different way, in a way that's comfortable for them, not in a way that's completely uncomfortable uh, for them. Black and white shot of Sam's face. So far, Sam has always succeeded. A film by Karina Sturm, music by Marcus Bone. Produced for Oleb Books by Bello Cipriani, and with special thanks to Sam E. 